Hello, everybody. How you doing? Flipping moose. Thought I was done for today, but I guess I'm going to make another video. And I want to just give the reasons why I started carnivore and what's happened as I've eaten car carnivore and what I've learned. And I don't care if you like it or not. It doesn't really bother me. You know, you can say everything that you want to say and good for you. You know, have a good time doing it. But you know, I, I, I decided that I wanted to make a change in my life and how things were going and what I was eating and what I was doing, you know, because I'd been big all of my life. Ever since I was just getting into high school and stuff, I got chunky and I stayed chunky ever since then. And so I decided I wanted to make a change in my life. So I started looking around and there's all these things about take this pill, take that pill, do this at workout, do that workout, do these things, do that thing. And I thought, man, it's got... I, you know, I need something simpler than, you know, am I going to weigh my food every time? I don't want to weigh my damn food every time I eat. That's just a pain. You know, count calories. Yeah. Now, how do you figure a calorie in an egg? Oh, we can put it on a scale and figure it out. Look, we don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I just, it's people, you know, 40 years ago were skinny and they didn't have this damn scale, you know, so there's got to be a way to do it without you know, weigh in your food. And I thought, well, what has changed in the last 40 years? And I thought, man, there's been a lot of like synthetic stuff, man-made stuff put into food. I mean, uh, McDonald's hamburgers still don't taste like McDonald's hamburgers used to take and or taste. And, you know, there's something wrong here. So I ran into this carnivore diet thing where the guy's like i eat everything i you know i eat all i want eat till i'm full and then i wait and then when i get hungry again then i eat again i thought <laughs> sign me up <laughs> i'm good for that so and he says i've been eating this way and i've lost this weight and i feel better and i look better and i've all these things have changed uh, about my physical um well-being so i thought well you know that's that sounds like it's easy I can do that. I if anybody can if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I started first by getting rid of the high fructose corn syrup. I got rid of the cigarettes and I got rid of the the um, soda pops. And that was that was hard. And I I went to something I settled on. I mean, drinking water all the time. I drink iced black coffee all the time. So it's it's coffee in the Keurig with a cup full of ice and I just brew it and then I just that's what I drink all day every day is ice black coffee at work, at home, everywhere I drink ice black coffee. Sometimes I drink water but I just drink ice black coffee. I'm going to have some. Mmm, delicious. So I started doing that and that was like a couple of months. I got through the headaches, I got through everything. You know, and then I'm like, well, I'm just on straight coffee now. You know, I got a little bit of caffeine in me. I got, you know, some fluid in me all the time. I started, you know, flushing out and uh, uh, constantly flushing. So then I thought, well, I've got to change the way I eat because I was still eating, you know, deep fried stuff. Not that deep fried stuff's bad, but I was getting fast food all the time because it was late at night when I was coming home. And, you know, just life is so busy. So I, I was listening to I uh, went back to that guy and he's like, this is what I eat. So I started buying steaks and I started buying, you know, whole food, food that was whole, that was real, that I could go outside my door and that that food would be available. Uh, cows. So then I started eating that and limited everything else, sauces, everything. There was a point where I was using seasoning, but it was still interfering with what was going on. So I cut out the seasoning and just started eating salt and butter, and beef, and eggs, and I ate that for like two weeks, and the swelling just like dissipated in a week, my stomach was bloated and hard, and my nephew, he told me, he says, why is your stomach so hard, and I, you know, I thought, oh gosh, I gotta get rid of this, and so I did that, and it just, uh, the swelling went away, my gut is soft now, you can feel it, I can feel my gut, and so that was the, the start. That was the first thing that changed was just the swelling, the inflammation, the pains, my back pain, lower back pain I've had for like a year and a half just started to go away. 
every morning when I woke up, it took like 10, 15 minutes just to get out of bed. The sleeping improved. I started sleeping all night and I slept hard and I slept, you know, sound, wake up and just know you'd had a good night's sleep. Remember the sleep you used to get when you was a kid and you'd go to bed and you'd just like sleep and then you'd wake up and there'd just be this big stretch. Like you just rested all night and your body was ready. Well, that's the kind of sleep that's going on now. It's like at night, my body just heals. And then I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's do some stuff. So, you know, that that was the, the first part of it. Then I started to notice that my body, I wasn't losing a whole lot of weight, but my body was changing. In that first like week and a half, two weeks, it dropped 15 pounds, but it was all bloat. It was just that stuff that was in my body that my body was just like unable to get rid of or, you know, that it was just constantly being replaced or there was something that was keeping it from being, you know, expelled so then it all expelled and i i got feeling a lot better and i thought well I'll just keep going on this and i kept watching the same guy and he you know he gets on there and talks about the things he eats and so i thought well you know what he's eating is not hard it's simple it's not like i gotta go weigh eggs so i'd have you know three or four eggs and and a piece of meat or something like that one time and then the next meal would be like straight meat you know, just eat meat. And so I was, eat, I've been eating meat now for about 45 days. And it's just like this whole change. And I, I keep trying to figure out why, you know, the plants made, um, made, made it not, not good. You know, I, salads. I mean, I ate salads one time for like six weeks and nothing ever happened. It never changed. And it, I think it was one, the dressing that I was using. You know, I, honey, mustard, blue cheese, ranch, all that stuff has chemicals in it. And it kind of messes with your digestion and your, your body and how it functions and stuff like that. So I think the dressing and then I thought, well, you know, plants in nature have natural pest resistance. You know, and if I eat that stuff, then and it goes in my in my body. Does that pest resistance interfere with my immune system? You know, because probably those farmers and stuff used to eat food in a certain way. They used to, you know, and then how cows eat food. Cows are ruminant, so they have multiple stomachs and they chew their cud. So, you know, that food gets digested like two or three times. And I only have one stomach. I was big enough. I looked like I had two. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it, maybe it has something to do with the plants. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an engineer. I don't know. But I know that when I cut it out of my diet, that things like really took off. And so, so uh, I flatlined for a while. And then when I went straight meat, then I started going down again. And it's not been fast because I'm not a super active person. I don't go to the gym all the time. I don't, you know, every day I got to go lift. I got to go do this. I got to run on the treadmill. I got to... You know, uh, I, I got stuff in my life. And so I go do that stuff. And, you know, I just don't do it. Oh, you know, you should be healthy. You should do that. Whatever. You know, now I got weights at work and I go grab the set of weights. And I sit out where I sit. And then I just start lifting, doing things with the weights to try and build some muscle. Just so, you know, I don't just lose all the fat and have no muscle. So... It's been, a, it, and my belt has been going down. The acne in my face has gone away. The swelling in my face has gone down. The swelling in my hands has gone down. My knees, my ankles. The other thing I haven't had, and that was related to stress, was gout. I haven't had gout in like three years. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, I, I think that the food that I put in my body now or the food that, that comes from carnivore is is like... Let's just get back to being human, not be these, you know, machines, machines run on gas and oil and we're running on synthetic stuff and modified stuff and chemically produced stuff. Our bodies just don't run like that. Our bodies run on real stuff, real food, real things. Um, I just started adding cheese back into it. I used to just have a little bit of feta cheese once in a while with the meat. Now I added like a. A sharp cheddar 
So I'll cook a hamburger patty and I'll cut a slice of sharp cheddar. I'll put it with it. Helps me eat the <laughs> eat the hamburger patty. But man, it's simple. It was simple, super simple. And this, I mean, this video is just for me. Uh, if you watch it, you watch it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you if something like this happens to you, you want to comment, super. Give me a comment. I'll I'll respond to you. But you know what? I thought it was time to to do some stuff. Also, my breathing. Oh, the breathing's changed. You know, I I used to make noise all the time. You know, when I was heavy, <laughs> just a just a wheezy noise, and that that's gone away. Uh, my elbows, man, I can't believe. My elbows used to be brown, but now they're not brown anymore, and they're soft. They used to, like, be all scaly. They were like that for years, and now they're all, like, soft, and they're not they're not black. It's strange. It's amazing. I love it. But anyway, give me a comment if uh, you, you do it, if you, you know, just anything. It's, you know, it's all good. This is just open forum kind of talky-talk stuff. But thanks for watching. We'll see you later.